Hi everyone, in this video, we will talk about how to create a roadmap using Google Doc. So to create a roadmap using Google Doc, the first thing that you're going to do is opening a Google Doc. So from your email ID, you'll be able to open your Google Doc. So I'm accessing my email. From there, I'm going to Google Docs. You can open a blank Google Doc. Uh, currently, I have a roadmap, a sample roadmap that I would like to replicate it for today's video. So, so I'll just create a roadmap under this sample roadmap that we have. So I'm going to just scroll down the page a little bit. So what you have to do is first click on insert option at the top, insert, and then click on building blocks. Then you have product roadmap options, click on it. So you are able to see the roadmap table appearing on your uh, Google Doc. So first let us understand the different columns given and then we, will, we are going to customize this a little bit. So the project is nothing but the project name that you are planning to put or planning to work on. So here it can be any task. So I'm going to say a task or a project, whatever you want to choose. So I have here sample project or tasks name that I would like to accomplish in the coming weeks or months. So I'm going to write the same names. So you would choose, you would write whatever you want to target or you want to complete in the coming months. And the next one is status. So status implies what is the state of that particular task or a project? What is it in? Is it launching? Is it completed? Is it yet to be started? So you are mentioning it with a particular label over here. So those, the default labels that um, the, or the options that Google Doc gives are not started in progress and launched. Um, so you would be able to select any one of them here. However, there are additional options that you can add. So to customize that, let us do that here. So we are customizing the uh, status options or labels. So you can say intro. So you can click on the drop down over here for this and say add or edit options. So I'm going to add newer options, for example, like to do. Or if you are using a blog, if you are kind of publishing a blog, uh, published. You can give a color to it so i can give some kind of colors green any choice of colors so if you want to remove any of the status you can still remove it so i'm going to remove not status if you want to remove in progress you can click on remove them delete options and if you want to kind of toggle them top to bottom you're still able to do it so i'm going to say you can add as many options as possible but however currently i have added uh, launch sorry published mm -hmm. and to do so i'm going to click on save apply to all so it applies to all the rows that we are going to add in the future so i have this i have this or i would say sorry i would say probably to do in progress to do. okay under related files this is a default column again given so you can add any kind of documents that are related but if you do not want it you can just click here and delete a column and if you don't want a notes so notes is somewhere you are adding some more detail to it um, if you do not want it you can delete it but however i'm keeping it for now so now we are going to uh, learn about how to add additional columns to this so if you want an additional column, just highlight it over here on this first row and you click on the plus option. I'm going to add assignee. Assignee is very important in understanding who is working on that particular task or project. And I'm going to add one more column that says due date, which is another very important column or uh, you know component of a roadmap understanding when are we going to complete this particular task or a project. So you can write the name of the person under assignee and under due date, you can actually say at the rate. So Google Doc, when you click on at the rate, it gives you a search menu option. So you can write search menu. So you can say the date to be, or you can use the date option, which gives you a calendar date. So I can say the due date to be 31st of December, right? So I'm able to successfully accomplish by putting the due date over there, understanding that you know that is the that is when i'm going to complete the task 
um, now you can still work on kind of moving the columns here and there so you you have the ability to move the column so i would say here to here the due date let me put the assignee to here i want the notes to the bottom so i'm pulling the notes to the end and assignee is over here due date is over here notes is over here okay so we are set with the columns over here so now we would be able to even sort these columns so if you want to sort the columns you have this small lines uh, option over there called sort table you're able to see when i highlight it you're able to see that you can sort it you can so sort start ascending descending. if you're giving any due date kind of thing it can be really helpful for so let us test this out so i'm going to say today's date for this and i'm going to say December 15th uh, for this one so if you want to sort it by date sort table sort descending descending 15th is the last ascending 31st is at the last highest to lowest lowest to highest is what we're doing okay so now let us add additional um, rows over here on this table so if you want to add additional rows you can say plus row just place your cursor over there and click on plus row, right so you can write any of the task over there and give a particular status to it okay and you can even sort the rows if you want this is all about how to create a roadmap very easily very simply on a google doc if you do have any questions post in the comment section let me know what would you like to hear about uh, in the upcoming videos about microsoft docs and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day everyone